What's going on world? It's your boy Sensei Rip and I'm back again with another video. Today we got a clip from T.I. speaking out after punching one of the members from Chainsmokers in the face for kissing him on the cheek. This is crazy, y'all. I know. Let's uh, check out the clip from the Chainsmokers so they can explain exactly what happened. Then we'll hear from T.I. and then I'll meet you guys afterwards in my commentary. So y'all know how we do, man. Hit that thumbs up and let's get right into it. See, I just literally punched him in the face. <laughs> We're on a vibe, and I, and I was like, I gave him a kiss on the cheek. It was totally my, my fault. <laughs> and he was like, don't do that. And I was like, okay. And he pushed me off, and I was like, all right, my bad. Dude, his friend goes, you need to get your boy. And I go, what the f I don't even know what and, happened. And he goes, I had no contact. And he punched me in the face, and I was like, okay, I'm sorry. And he was like, all right, cool. We're good. <laughs> It was the weirdest interaction ever, because, like, I'm sure, like, he... You like, did the coolest thing ever, and then you kissed the eye. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, T.I. is fully in the right here. <laughs> I, I, I was, like, I was like feeling I was feeling the vibes way too hard. <laughs> and I kissed T.I. on the cheek. <laughs> and he punched me in the face. <laughs> and he punched me in the face for it. Like, it's, like, fully, it's fully, like, down. Like, it's fully fine. <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> man. Bruh. <laughs> Y'all literally keep me in some shit, bruh. <laughs> I'm talking about for real, man. Every time, what's up? Mm -hmm. I'm literally just getting out of bed. Would you like some tea? All right. Hey, listen, bro. I'm literally just getting out of bed and having shit sent to me. <laughs> y'all, hey, man. Y'all need me in the news cycle, man. I'm convinced, man. Like, every three weeks, man, it's something else. Uh, so, I... I First of all, I love the chain smokers. <laughs> okay, so let's just get that straight. I enjoy, I, I love the chain smokers, first of all. All right. Um, uh, I, I have, hey man, I have nothing negative to say. I just, you know, just had to, you know, we just had to work through some stuff. You know what I mean? And we worked through it. We got to a much better place, you know? You know, man, we got to a much better place, man. Um, you dig? I have nothing but good things to say about them. Good guys. Good guys. Good guys. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to go into detail. You know, I don't want to go into too much detail. <laughs> I don't want to go into too much detail. But, I, hey, man, but I love, I love the chain smokers, man. Make great music. They make great music, you know. There's really, there's really not much more to the story. <laughs> there's really not much more to the story that you've already heard. Um, I think I think the most important thing to 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 to, to take away is is afterwards. We had a drink. We took a shot. You did. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And um, and now we, I mean, and we moved on. You know, everybody, you know, left left the party, had a good time. What's up, man? Excuse me. Yes, There's sir. Four pictures down them. They like the African people that's in the dining room. What you mean? Bring them up and let me see them. They like the ones in the dining room, the African people. I know, but bring them up and let me see them. Okay. If you don't mind. Okay. All right, well, man, let me get these kids up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know the whole, the whole, the, you know, the, you know. I like, I like, I, like I said, love the chain smokers. I, 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 ain't, I ain't not to get, not to get no sugar though. You know what I'm saying? Not no, you know. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, buddy, nah. Mm -mm, you can't play like that. But you know, love the music. Love the music. Okay, and still a fan. Still a fan. Um, and, and looking forward to, hey guys, as a matter of fact, 
I would love to have you guys. I was thinking about, you know, some guests uh, to, to, to bring on expeditiously. Uh, but love to have you guys on expeditiously. You know what I'm saying? If you can find, if you can find the time for us to sit down, <laughs> sit down and chop it up. <laughs> Sit down and chop it up, man. I'd love to kick it with you. Um, if y'all got some time on your hand, man, you know, let's, uh, you know, let's catch, let's catch a back. <laughs> you dig? But just imagine, bro. Just imagine me waking up, you know, all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, this is, this is on the timeline, man. I, I, I didn't expect it. Well, let's talk about it, y'all. That was T.I. speaking out after punching one of the members from Chainsmokers in the face for kissing him on the cheek. It's crazy, right? I know some of y'all thinking, well, damn, he from Atlanta. What's the problem? <laughs> no, no seriousness, man. Let's be honest, man. I don't understand why people don't respect others' personal boundaries, personal space. I get it. You know, Chainsmokers... They probably were harmless, right? They they didn't mean no harm by, by greeting T.I. in a way that they deem is just a friendly gesture. But coming from the culture of hip-hop, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We keeping our distance, especially after post C-19. Now we got the pox out here. Look, man, you should be lucky that he even breathed in your direction, okay? Especially with everything coming out in 2022. There is no telling, you know what I'm saying? At this point... I'm just giving y'all a nice little, you know what I'm saying, little nod and keep it pushing because I don't even want to dap you. You just be scared nowadays, but here we are, man. T.I. speaking out after getting kissed on the cheek by one of these members, which is apparently a, a EDM group, right? Duo. Um, like I said, it just seems like a miscommunication, but some folks just got to understand, man. People don't play about their personal space. I get it. He's T.I. He's a rapper things of that nature, but if somebody telling you back up, listen, take their word for it, you know what I mean? Because it could have been worse. You could have got greeted by the security, you know what I mean? They'd have put hands and feet all on you just by you touching this man. So just let this be a lesson learned. I'm pretty sure this will be an interesting episode for Expeditiously on uh, T.I.'s podcast, but for the most part, I'm glad that, you know, this was just a, a, a classic drunk story on behalf of chain smokers because... I don't know, you know, those are those crazy wild moments that they like to have, but it could have went left easily, so I'm glad that they laughed about it, but I'm just like, yo, come on, man, is this too much to ask? Just back up, give me 10 feet, man, I know we're supposed to, what, 6 feet, 8 feet, no, I need 10, alright, because with everything going on in the world today, I don't trust it, alright, I'm still wearing the mask and gloves, I got my Lysol and my sanitizer, so... I'd be damned if I let somebody just come on in my personal space and kiss me on the jaw. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't mad at T.I. at all for reacting like any human would. But, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do y'all think T.I. overreacted? Or would you have did the same thing if somebody would have kissed you on your cheek? Regardless how much of a fan they are or not. Just, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But, that's all I got for y'all today, man. My name is Sensei Rip. And I'll catch y'all at the next upload. Till next time. Peace.